tucked away at the Virginia Museum of Transportation in Roanoke, Virginia, sits a rather unassuming switcher locomotive with by far one of the most interesting histories out of all of the exhibits there. This locomotive is none other than Virginia Central Railway No. 3, and might as well be a designated war hero with its role in allowing the Allies to come out victorious in World War II. The story begins in August of 1942 when the H.K. Porter Company of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania turned out a pair of 50-ton center cab diesel electric locomotives, serial numbers 7395 and 7396 for the Bethlehem Steel Company of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Classified by Porter as DE-50s, these two locomotives were not to be used at any of the steel giant's current manufacturing mills, rather a planned mill located on the Weymouth Back River in Hingham, Massachusetts. The purpose of this mill? To construct ships for the United States Navy to aid the Allies in victory over the Axis powers in World War II. With the new Bethlehem Hingham shipyard being completed in record time by 1942, an order was placed with Porter for these two locomotives, both of which arrived on the property in August of that year. For the next three and a half years, these two locomotives would deliver supplies to the shipyard as well as switch industries and make sure the operation was efficient and safe. With the war finally coming to a close in 1945, the Bethlehem Hingham shipyard completed its last ship and was quietly decommissioned not long after. At the end of the day, 227 ships were completed, which was more than any other shipyard in the nation. It is undeniable that without these two locomotives, the shipyard would never have been as successful, and the Navy not as powerful. After the locomotive's tenure at the shipyard ended, both wound up on other nearby military installations, with 7395 becoming U.S. Navy No. 65-00457 and 7396 becoming U.S. Navy No. 65-00458. What happened to 7396 after its service in the Navy is unknown, but 7395 would experience new life on a small short line in Virginia, known as the Virginia Central. This line was one of the smallest common carriers in the country and operated a one-mile-long main line out of Fredericksburg, Virginia. Unfortunately, this line went under soon after 7395's purchase, but the engine would luckily be donated in 1984 and sent to its current home in Roanoke, where it remains today. Nowadays, 7395 sits on one of the many display tracks overshadowed by the likes of Norfolk and Western 1218 and Norfolk and Western 1776. However, it should be noted the impact this small switcher engine has had on the history of not only the state of Virginia, but also the United States. Who knows? Without this engine and its sister trundling around Hingham, Massachusetts during the worst days of World War II, would the Navy have been powerful enough to successfully take Normandy? How about the Battle of the Philippine Sea? Makes you think just how many pieces there were in the machine that ultimately allowed the United States and the Allies to grasp victory from the clutches of the Axis powers.